I'm Kelly Byrne. I'm the Council's Chief Officer for Regeneration and Culture. So my job involves social, economic and environmental regeneration. Kate and her husband Ludo Graham approached us probably over a year ago now to um, have the opportunity to sell to us their vision um, for um, a diverse um, new farming industry. And what they were looking at really was working with us to identify a suitable farm that they could potentially take on to run as a rural skills centre. One of the farms that had been brought to Kate and Ludo's interest was our farm up at Penalt. And that farm isn't part of our core estate. So in other words, it isn't a farm that we would use for future tenants. It's a farm we'd earmarked for disposal. We decided that there was actually quite a lot of merit in talking with Kate and Ludo about perhaps another way to use Mean Farm and to reimagine a new future for that estate. So we engaged in a very long conversation with Kate and Ludo over a period of months about how we could use this farm in a different value-adding way. We decided that the best model would be a joint venture model so that we could sell the farm to Kate and Ludo but as a council we really wanted to retain a share of that farm for ourselves. So Venture Wales actually worked with Kate and Ludo. We established together a very robust business plan. We looked at all the different activity that they could do and run from the farm. And the most important thing for me was really understanding the tremendous tourism and economic benefit that we could actually deliver for the people of Monmouthshire. Hello, I'm Kate Humble and uh, this is the Meand Farm. Um, it's a farm that was once a county farm, it was a tenanted farm and uh, about ooh, nearly two years ago uh, we met the tenants of this farm who had just retired and they'd handed in their notice to the council. And uh, the council, like many councils in the county, uh, in the country, um, decided that they weren't going to keep the farm tenanted, that they were going to sell it, um, but not as a complete farm, uh, broken up into lots, uh, probably with planning permission on the old buildings. So it would cease to be a farm anymore. There were two things that we really wanted to do um, when we uh, proposed to the council that we take on this farm. The first thing, um, and, and really the most important for me, was that it should stay intact, uh, it should remain a working farm, and it remain a tenanted farm. So it continues to give young farmers an opportunity to stay in farming. To me, uh, Monmouthshire, which is now my home, I've lived here for just over four years, um, the backbone of this county is farming. You know, it's a, it's a really good rural community um, with a lot of things to be tremendously proud of. And those things, you know, the good local produce that we, that we produce here, um, uh, and, you know, and the, and the landscape itself is very much thanks to the fact that this is a farming area. So this barn here now, um, this will be our kind of our, our viewing barn. So uh, animals cool. that are, you know, yeah. pigs that are farrowing or we've got pet lambs or anything like that. They'll be in that barn and it's going to be set up with kind of viewing areas. So if we've got children yeah. coming in or anything, they can go into there. Um, hit this area here, is going to have a new sheep race, so the sheep handling system. People can stand the other side of the wall yeah. and watch it. It was Tim's idea, so it's like our sheep theatre. Really nice. You know, this is a small farm. It's a hard farm to make a business from, uh, a living from. So we really wanted to look at diversification, but not just the sort of standard things. Yes, we'll have a holiday cottage on the farm. Uh, yes, we're looking at green energy and the way that that can bring an income into the farm. But the other thing we wanted to do was to try and make the farm something of a hub, something of a draw uh, for people um, to come and explore this very spectacular part of the world. So this is our, um, our kind of temporary home um, and it's our teaching room and we, no one makes wooden trestle tables anymore so we found a guy in Blenarvon who does, say, yeah. who I'll makes them yourself. and um, so we can have kind of 12 people in here comfortably yeah. 
Uh, we can do PowerPoint and um, or people can yeah. go on the on the board. And so we're setting up a centre for rural skills um, for people to come here and learn things like uh, how to lay a hedge or how to plant an orchard um, and or if they want to learn animal husbandry, you know, if they've wanted to keep pigs for years, they can come here and learn how to do it. They're going to need places to stay and uh, we've already run one course and um, people stay in the local pub um, you know we were able to put people in touch with great places to stay great places to eat and that's what we hope will start to build and start to spiral uh, we've got a website being built at the moment which won't just be about us but will be about Monmouthshire if you're going to come here uh, and do a course here look at all the other things you can do in the county they're going to perhaps go wow Monmouth is really pretty. Maybe we'll explore. So what we hope is that we'll end up being a little bit of a Monmouth hub, if you like. We hope to be able to draw people in, but I think Monmouth will speak for itself and it will keep them here when they arrive. Um, the major thing for me about the journey we've been on is mindset change. Um, we are a can-do council. We don't want to just think differently. We want to think about different things. And for me, it's about thinking about value in a different way. Um, we didn't want to sell the farm off for the highest economic profit. We wanted to engage in a project which would deliver the best social profit. And it won't just be a seasonal benefit. This is year-round benefit. So I, I am very, very confident that this can fulfil lots of aims and objectives and is a great flagship project of which we're really proud in Monmouthshire.